Hi guys, this is Kudo and today I will show you how you can start and stop a coaching properly. So let's get into it. So basically I create a simple coaching, so this is very easy coaching to show you how the number A is a float A will be increment by the time dot data time. So basically a lot of people will and is very normal. So to start the coaching they would just type start coaching and make the coaching and code the coaching so my simple coaching so let's go and uh, if I put a debug inside the um, the coaching debug sorry debug dot log a you can see um, click you can see I would put the script oh, let's create an empty game object reset it and let's drag and drop our script so let's see the console and let's see what is it showing sorry and as you can see my coaching is working so that's nice but what if I want to stop the coaching so let's take this into my update function and let's put the code if input so uh, input dot get key down that get key uh, down of key code let's say oops key code let's say a for example so if i press a I start my coaching and for example I will say if input dot get key down of key code let's say space so each time I would press space I will not start the coaching but stop it like this stop coaching and let's see what's happened and so for purpose for the exercise i will prefer to show you not in the console but i will create a series as a field and using a text mesh pro uh, tm pro and let's say text um, mesh pro on gui my text and I it will be better to as you you can see what's happened during this so I will say I will say my text dot text will be equal to a dot to string and oops And I will let the debug here, debug dot log. We press on space, and here we press on a. And obvi so obviously, I will need a new text mesh pro. So the text mesh pro is here, so let's put it in the middle, maybe a little bit up like this, and maybe not 36 but maybe 40. You can see much better, like maybe minus 250. So you need to put the text mesh pro here, and if I press play, basically you will see the countdown uh, so basically you will see the countdown if I press A so let's press A so as you can see we press A and the countdown start but if I press space it should stop right but as you can see we press space and the coroutine is still going on so let's put the console here uh, let's clear it collapse and so I press A the coaching start and I press space 
basically the coaching should stop but it's not the case so why so let's see what's happening here so basically when you when you you use start coaching mind simple coaching this is an this is not like a function you create a new instance of this coaching and when you try to stop um, coaching and put my simple coaching these two coaching are basically not the same it, ca it should be the same but it's not the same because this is a first this is like a first instance and you say to this one okay i want to stop this coaching but these two coaching not matching to to be able to stop the coaching you need to create a new e enumerator and say my coaching and with that so i will say my coaching will be equal to my simple coaching and instead of calling my simple coaching i will call my instance my coaching and this will be my instance and with that i can say okay i start the coaching of this instance and i stop this coaching of this instance and with that it should work so let's see clack so if I press A, the coaching starting. If I press space, as you can see, we stop the coaching. And if I press A again, he will not, um, he will not start it again, but he will continue. Space A, space A, space A. So that's it for the quick tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it just comment below the video and thumb up it will be very nice and i see you guys later bye